Yeah, okay, so solve this first and then. Sir, we've got just about everything we're gonna get out of the sublight engines. They're gonna fly by us in three, two, one. Interesting. What? If these readings are correct, and to be perfectly fair, they may not be. Rodney. It's an ancient warship. It's possibly Aurora class. Who's flying it? I would imagine ancients. Well, there hasn't been any of them around for over 10,000 years. Uh, relativity. Look, remember, for them, only a handful of years have passed. Those ships have hyperdrives? Well, maybe their hyperdrive was damaged in the battle with the Wraith. It happens with us all the time. I mean, maybe it, um, it conked out on the way, and they were forced to continue it as close to light speed as possible. That would explain how they got a million light years away from Pegasus without having to leave a million years ago. You know their subspace drive specs better than I do, Doctor, but I'm not sure an Aurora-class ship has the power to do what you're suggesting. Well, maybe they have a ZPM. That would be worth finding out. Okay, we need to send them a message before they get out of range and we have to jump ahead. Uh, something like, uh, you know, we are humans from Earth, currently occupying Atlantis, uh, yada, yada, yada. Why don't we just ask them to slow down? Colonel Caldwell, the unidentified vessel is slowing down. Maybe they heard me. Well, they saw us. And they're not just slowing down. I mean, they're slamming on the brakes something like 27 Gs. So now what? Unknown vessel. I'm Captain Healy of the Lantean warship Tria. Our ship has suffered damage. We've scanned your vessel and determined that it is capable of hyperspace travel. We've begun deceleration maneuvers. Will you render assistance in the form of hyperspace transport? Well, yes. Yeah, yes, of course we will. I don't think she can hear you. Open a channel. This is Colonel Stephen Caldwell of the Earthship Daedalus. It would be an honor to render assistance in any way we possibly can. We're going to meet ancients. I mean, flesh and, and blood ancients who know what everything is and how everything works. I, mean, I don't even know what to ask first. Well, it's going to be a couple hours before we can match velocities for transport. That should give you enough time to write out that list. Right, right. They were battle-scarred and already well on their way to Earth when their hyperdrive finally gave out on them. They decided it was best to continue forward than go back. And how many survivors? Just over a hundred. Word has already begun to spread amongst my people. They believe this return was foretold, that it marks a turning in the tide in the war against the Wraith. Well, I don't know about that. Dr. Weir, the dead list is ready to beam down our people and the ancient delegation. Thank you. Dr. Weir, Ronan Taylor, this is Helia, captain of the ancient ship Tria. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. And from what I'm told, you've done a remarkable job preserving our city. Well, we do what we could with what we had. I need to speak to the leader of your people. I'm in charge of the Atlantis expedition. You misunderstand me, Dr. Weir. I need to talk to the one who can speak for all the people of Earth. That can certainly be arranged. But may I ask why? What is that? How come I've never seen that? Excuse me, what's going on? Thank you for all that you've done, Dr. Weir. But your guardianship of this city is no longer necessary. The city is now under my control. 